A few people have asked if I can point the camera out when I'm talking. Well, since I'm heading up to the shop today, uh, yeah, no problem. <laughs> um, going to take a walk along the beachfront, so it's quite a nice afternoon. A little bit chilly, I'm in my shorts, but I'm actually still wearing a body warmer. I've got my Spanish t-shirt on. Um, but, but I want to talk, so somebody asked me what's it like being married to a Filipina. Well, the first thing I want to say is... In the broad sense, the, the only reason I would say married to a Filipino is somebody from the Philippines. Because obviously everybody's different. There is some traits that attach everybody to their own little groupings. But um, I can only speak from my own experience. And I do know that there is similarities with different people. Um, so I'll do it from that point of view. Uh, first thing I'll say is I find there's a commitment to family. Now, there's a commitment to the kids, a commitment to the um, family on the extended side in the sense that the mother, the siblings, the father, every, everybody has a very strong bond to each other. And even you find that when you start going into the much broader sense of relatives of like cousins or whatever even people that haven't met have got a strong attachment with each other you know like say people found out they're related suddenly they're like best buddies I, uh, I've seen that happen as well so oh, let me get this mic right um, so in all honesty there's a very strong commitment to family now being in Europe, obviously they're away from the family, those connections are still pretty strong. There's still commitment um, that you get financially because, my, like for example, my wife would be happy to work and help support her, her family um, a bit more and she'll be able to do that soon, which is one of the things that differs sometimes um, with expats' viewpoints. You know, the fact is that this sort of commitment to family can often be financial because uh, you start thinking well hang on a minute why should I be paying all the bills while they send all the money home and in all honesty we don't really need to send that much home anyway there's money being generated out in the Philippines anyway but at the same time it's nice that the, your, your partner is independent which is what's coming up as soon as this paperwork goes through with the residency. So from that point of view, I would say um, it's important to let the person be more independent and able to stand on their own two feet because otherwise there's a bit of a guilt if they rely on you, but also they feel much happier in being able to stand on their own two feet. Um, so sometimes it may, you may wonder why a partner has, has a, say, a crappy job where the husband has a good job well, and doesn't, the wife doesn't need to work. Well, in all honesty, it's to do with independence. It's nothing to do with finances. It's the ability to say, I'm committed to this, I'm doing something myself, and I'm helping. Um, whether that's taking the burden of the extended family or helping towards the bills, doesn't really matter. It's the commitment of being part of the family. Now, one of the things I will say where I'm stood right now is you can see they've been dumping more sand here. Uh, this is the repairs that are ongoing for the holiday makers. They're putting all the sand back. Don't know where it come from, but I'm struggling to walk through it because it's pretty bloody deep. <laughs> um, yeah, so from that point of view, you do have the commitment on the family side. I would also say that the woman invests in her husband. When you go out, you go out to work or whatever, you'll find that your, your partner is committed to making sure you look smart, tidy, shoes polished, all that sort of stuff. And for... Filipinos it's, it's more to do with showing that they're a good good wife good partner etc than anything else 
Um, but they're, they're sort of proud of you in a way as well. And they're proud that they're looking after their husband, so don't knock it. Uh, what else is there? You, they do, there does seem to be some, sometimes where things get lost in communication as well. Uh, which can result in the quiet times, tempo, whatever. But nine times out of ten, it's down to mis, mis, uh, misunderstandings rather than somebody throwing a tantrum for, for nothing. They probably misunderstood what you were talking about or doing. But also, I would say be very aware that manipulation goes on with some families. We don't really suffer with it these days. We did have some extended family try early on, but that got kicked into touch. Um, haven't really had that problem ever since. But you have to be aware that some people suffer with a 2 a.m. call saying little uncle Jimmy's had a, um, I don't know, a fall or motorbike crash or something, just to turn around and say, send me some money um, and the, the thing with that is those phone calls will not stop unless you stop them and I've spoken to some expats that simply just complain to me about it but don't actually say to the wife enough is enough we've sent too much home already uh, so be aware you've got to have that commitment from your partner that they need to deal with their family or the other alternative is a similar way to the way we dealt with it is any money is my money if I want to spend my money they need to speak to me directly that soon puts a stop to it they don't like it because they can't whisper in your wife's ear or whatever they've got to come to you and they'll never come to you because nine times out of ten they just make this stuff up so as long as you commit to making sure they don't abuse you and your, your wife's serious about the relationship, you should be able to stem most of those problems. If your wife's as bad as they are, then you probably already know you're in the wrong relationship. Um, and that's a whole other kettle of fish. But in all honesty, I don't really suffer with too many problems in my relationship. Yes, we've had a few family emergencies, but the one thing I will say, they've been real ones. Um, but we, we budget for it. We have a emergency fund, and although it's took a bit of a hammering lately, it's back to recovering again. Uh, and I think that's, that's the important bit, is being prepared. But I also say that my wife's very committed to the marriage, very committed to making the marriage work, committed to um, being a good wife, good good mother and it's just content generally I, I don't seem to get those issues that some people have I'm not, I'm not saying all western women do it but there's certainly no keeping up with the Joneses going on my, wife's, my wife would rather I didn't return to the corporate world and we just lived a basic lifestyle than me heading back to, back to work to make bigger money so that we can have a better lifestyle she's not really fussed on that as long as we can pay our bills and are happy that's all she cares about which is, which is nice to have somebody because it takes all the stress off you know because sometimes I know people have problems in relationships and a lot of it comes down to money whether it's an overpriced mortgage being paid off debt or simply constantly having to feed somebody with new Prada or whatever um, I don't get any of those hassles and I don't think most of the guys I know get those hassles um, although the odd one does get the hassle of the family emergencies on a regular basis but they could stem that if they wanted to um, but ultimately um, I'm happily married my wife's content and there's very few downsides there is, and it's not that I'm anti-Western women, by the way. It's just that I think I'm, I'm more in line with a traditional marriage, and I think the combination of 
a Western guy and a Filipino woman um, are a good combination in many ways. And I think that's why a lot of people are quite happy. It's why a lot of relationships do work. Um, just because you've got the two cultures, especially the guys looking for traditional marriage, most Filipino women are as well. Alright, thanks for watching.